Hey, what's up guys? I just want to make a video talking about the potential of re-traumatizing yourself when you're trying to integrate trauma. And I've actually experienced this in the last two weeks and I've actually also experienced it before within the last like six months. And basically what re-traumatizing yourself is, is when you go back to a hard memory, to a traumatic memory and you try to write about it and integrate it but you are in a current state that does not allow you to resolve it. You're in a state that is too overwhelmed, too stressed, too hyperactive to be able to not get overwhelmed by what you are dealing with. And so this happened to me this last in this last two week span. Uh, I've been pretty like stressed out with school and I was trying to write about traumatic experiences or just really hard experiences that I need to integrate and fully relive and, and resolve. And what happened was that they were just so overwhelming that I just re-traumatized myself and I, I dissociated even more and I could feel myself split into being more disconnected from myself and from the environment and it took me a while to realize that I'd re-traumatized myself but it totally makes sense now because I was trying to write and write about past experiences but what I was feeling in this moment I was not able to stay present with and something that is really important when you're going to go back and write about hard experiences is being present with your body in its current state and being able to be relaxed in your body and allowing emotions to come up and not letting them get too heavy, not letting them get too active to where you are out of control. And so something that can help you get ready to integrate trauma is to do some relaxation before, do some deep breathing, do some drawing before, do anything that's kind of single task, gets you kind of mellowed out relaxed and you really want to be in a good mood because you really want to be able to link positive emotions and positive experiences with negative experiences because when you link when you put a positive emotion a positive spin on negative experiences that changes the memory and that changes it so it's not corroding your system and so that's just something I wanted to remind you guys and remind myself that if you're feeling stressed out, don't try to write about your past. Be in a, in a calm state and be in a good mood. Maybe watch some comedy, lighten your heart, I don't know. Do whatever you gotta do to get in a better mood. And also just do it little chunks by chunks. Don't try to do it all at once. That really, I think, will help you and um, it'll help me too and I'm totally I'm not even gonna judge myself what what am I doing I don't even know I'm saying random words right now and I don't even know what's going on and the world's gonna crash and explode and I'm just seeing if I can get a reaction nope okay so that's my tip avoid re-traumatizing yourself Google online ways to avoid re-traumatizing yourself when you're writing about trauma or dealing with emotional abuse or psychological abuse or traumatic experiences because it'll really help. And I want to leave that little blurb I just had in there because I don't know why, I'm just going to leave it in there. So hope that helps. Hope you guys continue on the journey and peace.